Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the 223. Alright, so I found some sales here recently. Uh, you know, usually I stick with a good old Remington over here, or I go to Winchester. But I have tried American Eagle in the past, not this particular cartridge. But, uh, you know, these are my go-to right here, both of these right here. Well, um, anyhow, these were on sale last week at Cabela's for like six something. And I bought these over at, at Academy and I bought them for like eight something. And uh, when I bought these, I was like, man, I really need to get some more ammo. But, uh, you know, I was looking for better deals and uh, I was shopping around. I went to Bass Pro Shop, Cabela's Academy, Dick's Sporting Goods, nothing. I even tried good old Walmart and those guys, man, they're, they're funny. But um, anyhow, I was really excited because um, I had seen some videos about this one right here, Monarch. And, uh, you know, there's the steel case and the, the brass one. Well, everybody says don't, don't go for the steel ones because they jam up your rifle or, you know, they also get your rifle real dirty. And I'm thinking, well, I asked my brother what his opinion was. You know, he did agree that the steel one, you know, it can expand, it can jam in your rifle and stuff. But, you know, that he'd rather go for the brass. And he said the brass one is, is you know, it's better trusted, you know. So he recommended that I go for those and the the Monarch those were like $6.99 and I'm like ooh that's a good price so I bought a couple of them and uh, anyhow I, I was just like man I really need to get you know get my stockpile going here so I saw these online and they were at Academy for like $5.99 a little bit less than Monarch and uh, you know American Eagle is one one brand that I go to sometimes. It's not like my go-to, but it's pretty trusted. And uh, I was really excited. I went over to the store yesterday, and uh, this, you know, they said they, they were stock, you know, they were in stock, and they weren't there. So I went to the guy at the counter and was like, hey, look, I saw these right here. They're, they were on sale. I saw them at, in, online. They were on sale for $5.99. Do you guys have them? So he goes over to to his computer. He checks it out, and there were supposed to be 50 cases on on the shelf, and uh, <laughs> I couldn't find them. So we looked around. I looked around in the end caps. Didn't find any of them. He said sometimes they're in the end caps, and I'm like, okay, okay, I see that, and uh, nothing. So he told me if you can't find them, get with me, and I'll help you find them. So we went. We went to the spot they're supposed to be at, no dice, it was empty. Uh, so he goes in the back, fumbles around, couldn't find them, comes back and says, well, you know, that could have been a mistake on our end. I didn't find them back there and, you know, but other stores had them available. So I went back online and I was like, hmm, should I drive like a good 15 miles just to get the American Eagle? just for that dollar off and I'm thinking well gee that's kind of dumb so I drove all the way to Cabela's thinking that the Remington that they were on sale and there were these right here these were on sale for like six and change a little bit less than the Monarch ones and I'm thinking man that's a good deal well I went to Cabela's and they marked them back up to eight something and I'm like oh great I could have bought some at Academy. I could have bought the Winchester. Same price. I'm like, okay. But I'm like, okay, I drove the Cabela's and you know, I always, I'm always happy there. It's great. I went back home and I'm like, okay, so I'm just gonna have to wait, buckle down, wait till I get paid again, buy some more stuff. And uh, anyhow, Today, I just like, I'm going to go to Academy again and I'm going to see what else I can find, you know, what other deals I can find. Because I also have a 22 and a 17. And I'm like, well, I could, you know, get my stockpile on those too. And uh, so I go back to the 223 just to double check to make sure that guy wasn't lying. And lo and behold, score $5.99. All of them were there, all 50 cases. Not even, 
I think I got three of them. There's probably two of them that had been sold. And I'm thinking, man, persistence, man. You just got to keep on pushing. Got to find a better deal. But uh, anyhow, good luck on your find and hope you guys find, you know, you know, keep up with your stockpile. And I'll, I'll let you know what, um, how these other ones uh, fire. And as always, subscribe, like, rate, give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down. I don't care. <laughs> See ya.